Hi, it's Driveway DIY back again, uh, doing another video. This is to do with uh, HT leads. Uh, I changed some out the other day because the car was misfiring, so it made me think, oh, let's do a video on this and some of the things I checked for when HT leads. Uh, this is from a uh, Fiat Punto uh, 1.2 54 plate, 55 plate, something like that. Uh, and I took these out because it was misfiring. Uh, I thought I'd do a video on it just to show what I, I checked for as it was. If it, the, the leads were fine, I checked them, put them back. Um, I'm going to put them back on, uh, but these, these are fine anyway. Uh, but just to check if some of their uh, obvious signs of uh, HT problems that you could come across. I mean, you know, this is a uh, small HT lead. Uh, first things I'm looking for is uh, white marks, burn marks, areas where there might be uh, uh, voltage. Voltage coming away, coming out, melting, cracks, perish. I mean, after some of these cars are really old now that I'm looking at, and uh, I think some of these are the original, original HD leads on them when they've done 100,000 miles and the car starts uh, misfiring and stuff like that. So it's always worth to have a quick check, get your voltmeter out and just check for uh, continuity in them, check for their condition and stuff like that. I mean, I've checked these before and find there's no, no continuity in it at all. So uh, it's very easy, easy check. Obviously, always it's always worth having your uh, car specs around just to sort of cross cross check to what your measurements are because obviously these things can vary from car to car. But when it comes to wires, there's usually uh, usually a pattern amongst these. But anyway, all I do is get my voltmeter, set it to ohms. You just uh, looking obviously for a short wire first. It's worth writing some of these down results down and just uh, check for uh, continuity which I'm getting there uh, 0.30 which is about probably about right for a shorter wire that's the shorter on the car so that one seems to be okay uh, obviously there's always other variables in this that you might want to look at for a bit of a start of a turn this is pretty good this is the longest I think this one was the longest wire so I'm looking for uh, a, probably a bigger reading one end to the other, uh, 0.75, point, yeah, 0.75. So that tells me because that's this, this wire is longer than that one, so the resistance is going to be uh, higher because obviously there's more wire. So uh, that's that one. Uh, here's another wire, it's very similar to the one before. I think there's a slight difference in it in length just a slight one so we might see that in there uh, yeah I think it's slightly longer by the look of it 0.79 so that's a good strong reading for that wire uh, and that's uh, second from shortish shortest wire so obviously a lower reading than the last two but higher than the shortest wire so see what we've got in here see if we can get some reading yeah there we go obviously be patient with this because uh, you've got to make sure you get the right reading wait for it to find its way sometimes you've got to scratch the metal to get through 0.54 which is about right we'll go for 0.55 so that's about right so all these HD leads are fine obviously if there's no reading then there's no continuity and uh, for electrical items it's uh, if there's no continuity there's obviously a break well, there's plenty of videos out there and breakages and wires and stuff like that but for misfires and things like that always check your HT leads looking for resistance or too high of a resistance or too low resistance or no resistance at all or breakages, cracks, things like that voltage leaks all that sort of thing it's always worth looking at before you uh, go out and buy an expensive new set of leads when you didn't even need them in the first place diagnosis is always the, the key key value here Get yourself a uh, digital meter, digital voltmeter. This cost me about 15 quid. It's been great. Does the job easy enough. It's just for e easy checks, easy checks. I mean, for the DIY, sometimes you've got to uh, know your limits. But for uh, for things like this, for checking, you know, basic voltage and continuity and stuff like that, it's always worth having one uh, because all you might need is just a, uh, a cheap 10 10 pound lead you know and it solves your problem rather than going out buying coils and spark plugs and 
going down the line of that way, just just check and see uh, see what you actually do need. I mean, sometimes you can buy these singly as well. Might be enough just to get you out out of a pickle. Uh, yeah, and well, that's pretty much it really. It's just a video on showing you that. I uh, hope you liked it. Hopefully it helps uh, on driveway DIY. Hopefully it's interesting. Thanks for watching.